So welcome, happy Sunday. Today is the full moon in Capricorn. And we know that full moon is always about emptying out. I always think of full moon, full bladder when I was first learning all this years ago because you're emptying out, right? Getting rid of whatever you don't want. And the full moon in Capricorn is about movement. It's about um, being driven with your work. It's about dance. It's about exercise. Like uh, Capricorns are always climbing that mountain, right? A goat going up the mountain. So it's movement but it's also about being driven. You have a goal up there and you're trying to get to it. So this is a good time to review your goals. Um, what did I write? Oh, also see what doesn't serve you anymore and get rid of it. You know, just that easy, right? Get rid of it. Get rid of all of this extra that doesn't serve me. And then patience. This is a time because Capricorns can be impatient. So we want to use this time as a time to be more patient especially today but remember the full moon is really three days before and three days after we're building the energy then we're there then we start letting it go a little bit so do something today for yourself to celebrate that full moon all right whipping through i'm i don't have the book for well i do have the book but it's very long pages long so I'm just going to pull three from the angel deck here. Willpower. So perhaps you started a new regiment and you want to have some more willpower. Call on the angel of willpower. I need her. I don't need her whole team. <laughs> joy. The joy angels this week. No, I want this one. It doesn't want to come out. And potential. You see a closed bud here, but inside of that has every potential there. So I love I love that. So willpower, joy, and potential are the angels we're working with this up and coming week. Um, I'm going to, I don't usually use this deck. This is my personal. I don't usually use it uh, when I'm doing this, but Magdalene Rose Oracle. It's all about the divine feminine magic. Third week in July. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Pink Rose and a clamshell or some kind of shell, isn't that beautiful? Pink is always about unconditional love. Oh, just gorgeous looking. It almost looks like the rose has energy that's pouring out onto the shell and into the ocean. So that's a beauty. Let's see what the message is. I am the lineage of the pink rose. I am the ancient seal of the rose mystica Magdalenas. I hold you in the lineage of all those who have loved in the face of hate. With a flaming heart lit so brightly, it embraced and illuminated any shadow, showing us that love is at the center of all things. Oh, love it. I am Rose Mystica, anointing the heart to awaken the frequency of love in the blood. I am the swan's wings fluttering against your heart. I am an oyster, oh, it's an oyster shell, not a clam, sorry. <laughs> I am an oyster shell with a pearl nestled deep within it. I am the connection to those who have loved with an open heart, blossoming the hearts of all they have touched. Rose petals falling from their eyes as they cried tears of beauty, knowing the power of love to transform all things. We are the heart of devotion, and we carry this tenderness as our power. We call you from the ancient future, center of the heart temple that has always existed. We carry with the lineage the way of love, and we have... Oh, sorry, we are here now. 
It says, receiving this, beloveds, you are being called back to and initiated into your lineage of the Magdalene, who were the Rose Mysticas, the mystics of the pink rose, the flaming hearts, and swan songs of love. This includes the priestess of Cygnus, Bridget, Aphrodite, Ocean, Lakshmi, Kuan Yin, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, Salome, Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, and Hap Hathor, for they have all embodied this fragrant frequency of love. Connect with them now and know that you belong to this lineage. This lineage now offers you as a gift a refinement of an alchemical elixir that you carry in your heart. You are called to anoint yourself with this, for you are now ready to concentrate and receive the seal on the majesty of your heart. Feel this activated within you. Seal this embrace into your body so you may come to know yourself as the one who walks with this lineage. Consider this. What does it feel like to sit in the center of your heart's temple? That is beautiful. Love that picture. That would be a wonderful picture to meditate on. Just gorgeous. Okay. My mystical, I mean, my whimsical deck. All right. What? Oh, I can't even do that that way. All right, for everybody on this third Sunday of July. Illusion, embrace the truth. She looks like Cinderella at the ball. Yeah, that's an illusion for sure. <laughs> that there's a prince that's going to come and save us. Okay, so this says embrace the truth. When I look at it, she's leaning against a mirror. So the mirror's trying to show her that things are mirroring to her and are simply but an illusion. And know the truth from the illusion. Illusion means having a false perception of something or someone that is not real. Everything is destined for greatness. However, you may be held back by something you willingly embrace, but may not realize it. Your ego is chained to a comfortable materialistic lifestyle or an unhealthy relationship. This negative illusion is holding you back from being who you truly are. A mental and emotional rigorous self-evaluation is needed in order to move forward with confidence and embrace your beauty in the magic of life. The mantra is, I see things with truth and move forward with confidence. You know, it's, it's painful sometimes. We don't always want to look at the truth, right? The Sacred Forest by Denise Lynn. Ooh, isn't that beautiful, the hummingbird. Success. It says Secret Spring. It's a beautiful card with a ferry over a little pond or spring, maybe, um, with a boat there with a crystal shining. Look at that's magical. That's really beautiful. All right, let's see what they have to say. It says, success is flowing into your life, vitality, and a glowing youthful renewal of your body is occurring. Now is the time to take action in support of your dreams. There is no need to struggle. The universe has your back. There you go. That is beautiful. Lots of interesting cards this week. Um, the Secret Language of Light by Denise Jarvis. Either they're making the big, the decks bigger, or my hands are small. <laughs> Nothing has gone wrong. That takes me back to the prayer about, you know, the timing and not thinking that our prayers are being answered. 
I think we got that the last time. All right. Nothing has gone wrong. And what I see here is balance. We've got the four different directions with the four elements and four animals that represent the directions. They're equal on here. We've got the Bagua, which is balance, and the, the uh, yin yang, which is balance. So in the last few days, oh, it says an obstacle launches new loving requests. In the last few days, a change came out of the blue and may have felt like your body and mind moved through a crack in reality of your life. Suddenly, deep within you have been craving change and this situation brings new and different experiences into your life. You may be feeling a little lightheaded and dazzled by the brilliance of this expanded version of you and you're doing well. It is now time to catch your breath, settle into a new outlook. This is an opportunity to look at your thoughts, ideas, and reactions to your potential success. As you become aware and implement change, you can rise above the limit that people or situation have placed on you. This card depicts the trigram of the I Ching, the Book of Changes, with a yin-yang symbol. This is a reminder that everything changes, that nothing can exist on our physical plane without its opposite, and neither is superior to the other. You can't stop anything that's manifesting, but it can serve as an inspiration to create new paths aligned with soul truth. That's nice. They give you a little thing on if you want a journal here. Draw or write about three things you love in your life. Then draw or write about yourself embracing them. All right, so remember, we started with willpower and joy and potential, um, which you don't know. You start with a little seed, you don't know how quickly it's going to build. And then being open and in your heart, and then finding your truth, making things happen. You have the success card and taking a break. Sometimes things just need to percolate. So that's it for today. Thank you.